The young man's name was Sam, and he was a monk in training. He had been studying with the Zen master for several years, and he was making good progress. But there was one problem that Sam could not seem to overcome, his lust. Sam was constantly thinking about sex. He would see a beautiful woman, and his mind would start to race. He would imagine all the things he would like to do with her. And this would lead to feelings of guilt and shame. Sam knew that his lust was a problem. He had tried to control it, but nothing seemed to work. He would try to think about other things, but his mind would always wander back to sex. He would try to meditate, but his thoughts would be too scattered. One day, Sam was sitting in meditation when he had an epiphany. He realized that his lust was a form of attachment. He was attached to the idea of sex, and this attachment was leading to desire, and desire was leading to suffering. Sam saw that he needed to let go of his attachments if he wanted to overcome his lust. But how could he do this? Sam thought about this for a long time. Finally, he came up with an idea. He would meditate on the nature of attachment. He would try to understand why he was attached to sex, and he would try to see the world without his own projections. Sam began to meditate on attachment. He sat for long periods of time, trying to clear his mind of thoughts. At first, it was difficult. His mind was constantly racing, and he could not seem to focus. But slowly, he began to make progress. He learned to let go of thoughts, and he began to see the world more clearly. As Sam meditated, he also began to accept himself more fully. He realized that he was not perfect, but that was okay. He was just a human being, and like all human beings, he had flaws. But he also had strengths, and he began to appreciate those strengths. As Sam continued to meditate, his lust began to fade. He no longer thought about sex all the time, and he no longer felt the need to masturbate. He was finally free from his attachment to sex, and he was at peace. One day, Sam was walking through the forest when he came across a beautiful woman. She was sitting on a rock, and she was reading a book. Sam was immediately attracted to her, but he did not feel the same sense of urgency that he used to. He was able to simply appreciate her beauty without feeling the need to possess her. Sam sat down next to the woman and introduced himself. They talked for a while, and Sam found out that her name was Maya. Maya was also a student of the Zen master, and she had been struggling with lust as well. Sam told her about his meditation practice, and Maya decided to give it a try. Maya began to meditate regularly, and she also began to see the world more clearly. She realized that she was not defined by her thoughts or her desires. She was simply a being, and she was worthy of love and acceptance. As Maya continued to meditate, her lust began to fade as well. She was able to see men as they were, without projecting her own desires onto them. She was able to appreciate their beauty without feeling the need to possess them. Sam and Maya continued to meditate together, and they both found that it helped them to overcome their lust. They were able to see the world more clearly, and they were able to accept themselves more fully. They were no longer slaves to their desires, and they were finally able to experience true peace. Moral of the story, lust is a form of attachment that can lead to suffering, but it is possible to overcome lust through meditation. Meditation can help us to let go of our attachments and to see the world more clearly. And as we see the world more clearly, we will begin to accept ourselves more fully. And as we accept ourselves more fully, we will be free from lust. Best example, Sam and Maya's story is a great example of how meditation can help us to overcome lust. They were both able to see the world more clearly, and they were both able to accept themselves more fully. As a result, they were able to overcome their lust and experience true peace. If you are struggling with lust, I encourage you to try meditation. It may not be easy at first, but it is worth it. Meditation can help you to find true happiness and freedom. Thanks to all for watching this video. I slow check these two more videos that will help you a lot.